she's not on yet. Okay, Chris, you on? I don't see him. Okay. Is Gary on? I don't see him either. So I've got I've got uh, four people who don't sign in with names. Well, you know the three five two is me, Pat, uh, Tom. Uh, yes, Tawana, and you've got your name in there too. Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I lost my phone. This is Orlando from uh, California. Hi, Orlando. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Rashawn from Pennsylvania, everybody. Okay. You're here with Queen Aquila. <laughs> <laughs> Going on. Yeah. Yeah. It, either Somebody's that, breaking up. The microphone was too loud. Hey, Orlando in California, you're a new name to me. I'm in California too. I'm Stevens. And and uh, do you want my phone number? <laughs> sure. Could I, could I, I'll give you mine, and then you have your privacy if you want. You can call me sometime and give me yours. Okay. I'm up by Sacramento. I'm in. Anyhow, 916-645-8494. Yeah, 645. I'm Steve. Steve. Yeah, Sawyer, like Tom Sawyer. I'm I'm in uh, Bakersfield. Okay, you're new. You're new to me. Yeah, I've I've been on the calls. I've been recording the calls. Mm-hmm. I haven't been able to catch the calls live. I just 10 minutes ago realized you were having a call, so I jumped on so I could try to get some live feedback. Um, my number is 661-426-9444. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yes, we just, announced this, we just announced this call about 1230 today, Eastern Time. Okay. Yeah, when we come up with some new information, basically we try and uh, our uh, substantial information, we try and post it and try and get it out there to the group as quick as possible. And that's why this call is uh, come in like this. Which is good. Okay, is uh, Jeff or Chris on there yet? No, they haven't come on yet. Should I, uh, I'll, to... I'll send Chris. A, you're talking about Chris Summers? Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll get on Skype and I'll send him a Skype and remind him and I'll include the phone number. Yeah. In, in the interim. Did Did you get those forms, Tom? Yeah, I have the form. Okay, there's two of them. A, I just have the one. OMB OMB thirty ten thirty five. Zero 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 three and zero 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 four. Just a minute, I need to. Okay, can you? I'm I'm calculating by OMB. OMB. Ten thirty. Ten thirty five. And then triple zero three and triple zero four. Okay. And there might be another triple zero five. Don't know. Uh, okay. Jeff was trying to look at that one too. Very good. And I should post them up then on on the Yahoo group. Yeah. Okay. Take a look at them and basically uh, that's why I want. Hopefully Jeff comes on the line and Chris also because Chris uh, also told me about the ten, uh, the zero 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 form. And I think he sent that one to you. Okay. Once you got the zero 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 four. No, Chris gave me. I'm going to pick it up here. Uh, it's an OST. Okay, that's the following. OST. 
I have F004. Yeah. That was the form number, OSE. Uh, zero, zero, oh, one, oh, OST, zero, is for the, uh, OST is for the Office of Special Trustee. Right. And then F, F004 is a disbursement form. Yeah. And basically, I think there's also a 003 and a 005. Okay. That are underneath the Office of uh, Special Trustee. Let me Google that. Later on, I'll want you to fax me a copy of those. Okay, I can do that. I'll let you know when I have a fax machine. <laughs> hey, hey, group, this is Steve. I just uh, tried to call Chris on Skype, and it's, it's busy, so I typed him a message. I said, hi, Chris. There's a conference ca- uh, call starting now with Patrick. Your presence is requested, and I'm including the phone number. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Pin number two. How many have you got on here now, Tom? Um, get back to that window. Thirteen. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay. Okay. Basically, what I've been saying all along is that we're on a reservation here. We have our rights reserved, and basically we're on an American reservation uh, right now. And when you're on the reservation, uh, you're still classified as a public plan, okay? Therefore, you are a uh, public uh, is what? Basically, uh, the uh, Office of, uh, and see, we're under the Office of In- Secretary of Interior. All public land uh, was transmitted in 1848 from the Secretary of the Treasury over to the Department of the Interior. Okay. We are known as an insular I-N-S-U-L-A-R area of public land. And an insular is one that was surrounded by water. And we came out of the birth canal, we were surrounded by water, and then we were birthed. So we're an area of land that was an insular of the United States. Because we came from the public land. We were made up from the minerals of the public land. Now, this public land is basically uh, outside of or has been basically seceded from the Indian tribes, the Indian nations of America. But we are still on a uh, reservation a public reservation, okay? And since we did not uh, claim our homestead uh, or our guardians did not claim our homestead when we were birthed, after 90 days, we went under uh, the Office of Special Trustee for American Indians. Well, it's really Office of Trustee for American Public Indians, Public Land Indians, okay? Here in America, basically everybody is classified as an Indian. I had that up before, uh, back in 2010, uh, what and who an Indian was. In means in law of real estate, something that is in possession, entitled, invested with title. And then D-I, 
or D I A N is dynamic, D A I N A T I C, logical reason, reasoning in a progressive manner proceeding from one subject to another. So you take N and then the first four letters of dynamic and put them together and you get Indian. So you have, basically, you have, you were born of the land, and basically in America, everybody is classified as an Indian, whether they're the indigenous people or the uh, people that uh, have been born here and derived from the public land. And normally that is anybody that's after a third generation is a full-blooded Indian, American Indian. Okay, so you start out as a public Indian in the process, and we're on a reservation because we did not claim our seat. Okay? And that, well, I talked to one guy earlier today, and basically he said, uh, you know, uh, when I was explaining some of this stuff to him, I hadn't talked to him in quite a while, uh, he said, well, you know, I've talked to a doctor uh, or whatever, uh, and he said, you know what, the first thing that is developed in the womb uh, to uh, create a new person? I said, no, what? He said, it's basically the asshole. Your seat. And I said, well, that stands to reason, because that is what the number one thing is we have to get, is we have to get a seat to place our ass on in the private. And see, until we get our seat claimed, okay, a place at the table, okay, of the council table, in the private, we're still out here like the ten little Indians running around, the public Indians, and being treated as such. Now, you can go into the Department of Interior and check this out for yourself. There's the Office of Special Trustee. It's, and on the org chart, it's on the right-hand side. Now, Jeff went through uh, that. Uh, Chris has gone through some of this before. Supposedly, a couple of weeks ago, he posted some of this. I just, I don't know whether I didn't see it or didn't hear about it or basically I was too wrapped up in some other stuff. Uh, I tried to apologize to him that I didn't see it or whatever. But anyway... We're right here now, and now we can see what's going on, okay? And this is under the Office of Special Trustee, Assistant Secretary of Indian Affairs. And the Indian Affairs Office is, uh, address is MS-4141, and then dash MIB. I don't know where people got that. M-I-B, men in black. This is what we've been looking for is the men in black. Hmm. And basically, I don't know whether Tom got the address and everything up there, uh, but there's a telephone number and also a fax number that we can send right into this office of special trustee. Now, yes, I do. I do have that. I okay, think it's the same one you have. Okay, the fax number is two zero two two zero eight five three two zero. Okay, that's not the one I have. Five three two zero. 
Do you think the number 4141 has significance? I think so, okay? I just haven't had time to go back and watch the uh, the Men in Black movies, but I think you'll find 4141 somewhere in that damn movie. Okay. And the phone number? The fax number is 202-208-5357. Right. Okay. Right. I got that. And then the telephone number is uh, the last four digits are 7163. 7163. Okay. Both of those are different from what I found. Okay. And the address is 1849 C Street. Northwest. Northwest. Why 1849? Huh. That's the year year that the act went in. So that was the year that it was created, the Bureau, Department of Interior. Yep. Eighteen forty nine. C Street. C Street. C Charlie Street. Street. Yeah, Charlie, right. And then the zip code is two zero two four zero. Yep. Washington DC. Huh. 1849 is when they found gold in California. Well, yeah, it was also the same year that uh, my great-great-grandpappy Patrick uh, was naturalized, too. And then I was born 100 years later. Hmm. And wow. C Street could mean you see or it's correct. Yeah. So there is significance in... Uh, some of these uh, numbers that they've used. And then why would they have MIB at the end of uh, their address within the building? Right. And basically, in a lot of cases, uh, the Indian agents were dressed in black. Hmm. I'll have to listen to the thing. I know it's the Office of Special Trustee, American Indian um, Agency, or what you call it. It's the Office of Special Trustee for American Indians. Oh, okay, for American Indians, plural. Okay, But I put the word public in between American and Indians because we're public, American public enemies. Indians. We are not native Indians. Right. And see, as long as you're on the public lands, you're still classified as an Indian. You haven't gone and taken up your your home uh, stead, your seat of your private uh, reserve. Bill and Lawrence. Lawrence. About time you're getting on here. You're late. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of stuff. All right. What's going on? Well, anyway, uh, we're going on here. You just have to listen in, and you'll have to listen to the audio uh, for the first part of it that you missed. Okay. Okay. It's, 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 I'm not trying yet? to make fun about the information the doctor told you about the first thing that forms is the anus or something, but it is kind of uh, it is kind of surprising. Yeah, well, what do you you got to have some place to discard. You've got to have some place to sit. Yeah. Okay, until you have your seat established, the rest of it ain't going to do a damn thing. Didn't know how important your ass was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People sure talk about it a lot. Yeah. I I tell I use the word rosebud. <laughs> I like ass better, okay? If people can't get over the the puritanical uh, usage of it, then basically I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. No, I just say it because everybody says ass. So I just like to say something different. Yeah, but, I mean, there's a lot of women out here that basically just can't handle 
Uh, oh, that's a swear word. That's a swear word. That's an asset. Yeah, they basically lose all control and basically uh, shut everything off right then and there. Well, that's, uh, you got to get over that, okay? This is America. And basically you've got to stand by the true fact. And uh, uh, the language is the fact. Patrick. Yes. Oh, never mind. Okay. So anyway, that's what we need to do is, uh, and see also the Department of Interior has been called, uh, if you go into the Wikipedia website and pull up the information about uh, Department of Interior, uh, you'll, you'll find some interesting facts on it. Well, the department has often been humorously called the Department of Everything Else, because it has a broad range of responsibilities, and a lot of them have been hidden from everybody. Just like we were trying to go to, uh, kept trying to go to the Secretary of Treasury, well, come to find out, he transferred all that responsibility out of his office over to the Department of Interior, in 1849. Prior to that, and see, Homestead was not initially, I was wrong on that before in the last audio, stating that Homestead was the foundation of this country. No, the foundation of taking public lands and taking them into the private was a preemptive or preemption uh, entry. And you'll find that in the statutes uh, out there uh, pretty much uh, from 19, 1838, 1841, 1842, 1843 about uh, preemptive uh, or preemption uh, uh, entries and uh, claims. There's others back further, but uh, I didn't uh, go into all those. Uh, I started at uh, about volume five and uh, started coming across this in 1838. And there's also protections in there about uh, the preemption. Now, in the 1900s, basically they started calling it homesteading, okay? Under the homesteading laws, especially in 1934, but there was a couple others uh, in 1917 and 1925 that basically acts uh, were similar acts in those years that were... uh, in the act of 1934, June 21st, 1934, uh, the 32nd, the 73rd Congress, Session 2, Chapter 690, it has an act to restore homestead rights in certain cases. This allows for you to come in and make your re-entry or your second entry for your homestead, for your ass, for your seat at the table. Take your ass out of the public realm and put it into the private realm. Therefore, the public can't nibble at your ass because it's now in the private area. And that's what they've been doing. They've been nibbling the hell out of our butt, or whatever you want to call it. So there are some laws in there, but you have to look at what uh, pertains and when these items went into effect. 
And I didn't find any of this by going through the codes out here. I only went through the statutes and basically the acts that were approved or enacted by the Senate and the House of Representatives. Most all of those codes and everything else have never been properly enacted by the House of Representatives and the Senate. Because in most cases, most of those damn codes are so damn monumental, it's just a, uh, basically a wave of the hand to say, okay, yeah, we approve that. Because they're so monumental, the, the senators or the House of Representatives could never read the damn things anyway. Right. And then they wouldn't understand what the hell the damn codes say to go along with it. And see, when you become a private uh, reservation or uh, reserve land stead, you now become exempt from all the public charges. The public taxes, everything else, all the taxes are in the public realm. Or the public Indian reservation people. For the public land and the Indians that are on the public land. Now, every state out here is a reservation unto itself. So, the state of Iowa is a reservation. The state of Ohio is a reservation. The state of California is a reservation. We're all under the American reservation, the United States of America reservation. And on each reservation, there is a Indian agent on that reservation. Mm. And the Indian agent that basically is on this public reservation is the Secretary of State. That agent works under the office of the special trustee. Or the reservation. Public reservation Indians. You go into this about the public uh, reservation or the uh, the office of special trustee, and you'll find out that they have a debit card. They you can find out what your account balance is. Your account number or your uh, tribal number, whatever they want to call it, is your registration number that is on your certificate of live birth. That is your leasing number. Mm. Also, and see, it's under an Indian public lease, leasing your assets. Your shares that were given to you, but you didn't take them out of the public land and put them onto the private land. So basically, the special trustee is holding them there for you. But allowing the rest of the public government to utilize that as collateral. You can, and with those forms that I was talking to Tom about earlier, and try and get the others and post them up there, Uh, Chris and Jeff both for uh, looking at some of those forms. And uh, Darlene thinks she has access to them, too. She's still going to give me a link. Yeah, well, basically, you just go in there and do a uh, search 
for OMB 1035-00034 uh, and 5, uh, you'll probably pull them up. She said she couldn't find the 4, but she found 3 and 5. Well, the 4 should be there somewhere. It might be just doubles here on that one. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep on it. Yeah. And basically also, if you go into the uh, website there, uh, under that special office of special trustee, I think that one was addressed on there. Mm, okay. Hey, Patrick, is the address you gave us, that MS4141-MIB, is that the same thing as the Office of Special Trustee, or was that Department of No, Interior? that's an office under the Office of Special Trustee. Okay. Okay. And see, there's about four or five offices under that. And uh, when uh, Jeff saw this one, and it had MIB at the end of it, he said, hey, he called there. we talked and said, uh, yeah, men in black. That's where we want to go. said, that's the one I want. I don't want any of the others. I want the men in black. Yeah, that's the Agent Smith. Yeah. Yeah, Will, Will Smith and uh, uh, what's his name? It's Tommy uh, Lee Jones. Yeah. Hey, excuse yeah. me, I have a question. Okay. Um, I... This is Rashawn. Um, how do you get access to your certificate of live birth? You call up the state or the county, and you get a copy of it. Mm, okay. You I can't just show up, or, or do I? Pardon? Huh? I'm sorry. You go, um, you go to the state or the county, or you go online, and basically mm-hmm. the Secretary of State or the Bureau of Vital Statistics for that state uh, has a form to request a a certificate of live birth, just like you can get a cert- copy of your certificate, your death certificate, and uh, uh, a few other things on. Uh, but you'll have to fill it out and send in a money order or whatever along okay. with it, and then okay. wait the 10 days, or you go directly there and get it. Uh, Great. Thank you. Okay. You may be able to get it right there. At the county, normally they give it to you across the <laughs> counter. At the state level, uh, at least here in the state of Iowa, uh, you make the payment and then you leave and then basically they'll send it to you by mail. Mm, okay. Normally the next day or the following day it will be out in the mail. Okay. Thank you. And you want the one that has the registration number, so you're wanting a copy for your private files. Okay, some people have just gone in there and just got a regular one. Well, in a lot of cases, they don't put that uh, registration number on there because that is a account number that basically is what you go and you can claim all your money with this special uh, trustee. Okay. And also use it with the Secretary of State as he's the Indian agent to uh, do set-offs for all your bills and uh, all your receipts. Now, if you are if you were born, like, I, I was born in Pennsylvania, but and I live in Pennsylvania, but my boyfriend was born in California, and he lives in Pennsylvania. Is it just that simple for him to um, send the request in in writing? Go, go to the birth county. Pardon? Go to the birth county. And go to the state birth. that you were born in. Okay, he was born in California. Yeah, so you got to go there to the Secretary of the State or the Bureau of Vital Statistics or his birthing county and get a copy of that. Okay, great. But make okay. sure you get the registration number on it. Okay. I asked and for the law. Pennsylvania, you may have to go to the state capitol. I don't know. Some people have been jockeyed around and trying mm. to get... Uh, the ones from the county in Pennsylvania. I, I was told that I asked, asked them for the long form of the certificate. Yeah, you want the long form. 
Oh, okay. 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 Or you say long form and basically also this is for my private record. I want the full details. We covered this before, okay? I just joined about three weeks ago. I mean, I've been with the group, but... Well, where in the hell you been? <laughs> um I've been awesome. with your group for about a year, but now that my job situation has calmed down, um, I've been going through all the files and did a bunch of downloads and been listening to all the calls I possibly could. So I'm fairly caught up to everything. Just a couple questions here and there. <laughs> okay. Well, now what we did earlier this week, or what I did earlier this week with the uh, – Termin or with the notice of landlord uh, tenancy mm-hmm. at will termination of tenancy at will. Okay, that is really the number three document that we need to be doing. Okay, the last document that I had Tom post up there, the one about the homestead exemption, that is the number two document. The number one document that we have to have is we have to do a preemptive entry and claim our, uh, I love the word, ass, (laughs) our seat, okay, at the table, okay? And see, we were born... Like I said, we were an in, uh, what the hell, S-U-L-A-R, okay? I-N-S-U-L-A-R, okay? And that means means a body of land that is surrounded by water. And so we were a public land. Okay, because we came from the public minerals of America, and then we were birthed. But we didn't claim our private sea. So that's why we ended up going to public schools, and uh, uh, we've been operating on public roads, and why we get ta- traffic tickets and all this other stuff is because mm-hmm. we're still being classified as a public section of land, an area. And see, you were surveyed at the hospital when you were born. You were, If you were born at home, you were still surveyed. You had your birth, weight, your uh, height, and uh, basically, uh, in some cases, people uh, took a footprint imprint of the child. Okay? Some people didn't. Okay? But that's, uh, and see, then you've got your boundary markers. You've got the description of the land, color, hair, eyes, whatever, all recorded. So that that is the survey. Now, if you want an updated survey, you go down to the sheriff's office and you ask them for a private uh, fingerprinting down there for your private records or for a private uh, item that keep the Social Security number and try and keep all other numbers off of that form. Mm -hmm. That is also a survey. I went to the sheriff's office and did that about four years ago and had an updated survey done. And see, that's, so I've got it identified of who I am. Now all I need to do is come in and claim and move my butt out of the private world into, or out of the public world into the private world, onto my private reserve, or private homestead, or private enterprise. 
Uh, my my son you? is 14, so am I able to, excuse me, if my son is 14, so once I'm You able get to yours to, done, and then basically you can start, when you talk to the people there, that Indian uh, special agent, then you can find out what you need to do the rest of the way, okay? Oh, great. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes, them, okay? Yep. But you've got to get yourself established first. Okay. Hey, Pat, That's the you... problem with most people out here. They worry about everybody else. You've got to get your own ass covered first, okay? Mm-hmm. You're running around on the beach there with no damn uh, bottom part to your bikini. Mm. In other words, your ass is hanging out. <laughs> Trying to make these funny metaphors. Yeah. So I, I started to write that down. The, the preemptive entry is the number one document, and then the homestead, the declaration of homestead is the second one. Homestead exemption is yeah. the second one, and then basically the last and final one will be basically your termination of lease. And I think that is also covered on that uh, 1035-0003 form. Right. Yeah, and 004, 0004 also, and maybe 005, yeah. Well, 003, basically, uh, well, I don't know which one. Uh, Jeff and Chris were uh, talking on a couple of them there, and basically I... I've got them sort of mixed up, so that's why I was hoping they were going to be on here so that they could uh, sort of straighten me out on some of this. So those forms will be posted? Or yes. Are they posted? Yes. Okay, okay. I just. I, I have two of them. Or you can go on to the website and try and pull them down. Go in and check out the Department of Interior. Like okay. I try to tell people, don't believe a damn thing I tell you. Mm-hmm. You check it out. So, Patrick, and, are we uh, um, we're doing these in succession, or should they be uh, turned in, like, in order, or? You can do all three of them in one shot. Oh, great. They're elements awesome. of the what's required He's what's, what's re, to, uh, to finish the process. Right. Yeah, so, and basically I'm going to send all three of them. I'm going to rework. Uh, all the other two that I did previously, rework them up again, and see now I got to go to the Secretary of State and call the Secretary of State the Iowa uh, Public Reservation uh, Indian Agent. Mm. Let him know. Basically, they've got my documents up there at the Secretary of State's office. They've had them up there. All week long. The attorney, and basically they've got an attorney looking at this, and the attorney basically wasn't there Friday. And I've been getting a song and dance uh, being dodged around every which way possible out here. So I know that I'm right. <laughs> Because they're trying to dodge me, and they're afraid that they might let something out that I don't didn't have it quite right. I wasn't addressing everything in the process the right way. But now I do have the process down right. And like I said, on the last call, I was saying that they were the ones that did a preemptive no, we have to do the preemption. And that's what we didn't do in the initial 90 days. So since we didn't do it, then we were placed upon the public reservation. Huh. 
Chris or Jeff show up yet? No. I I sent Chris a uh, you know a Skype message that he yeah. was, uh, requested to uh, attend the conference call. And I talked to him earlier and told him I was going to have this call, so, uh, and that I'd hoped he'd be on here. And same well, thing with Jeff. Well, you jailbirds on here tonight. How y'all doing? A lot of people may start coming on now thinking that, uh, uh, that this call was supposed to start at 8 Central Time. No, I always say Eastern Time. Yeah, I know. Huh. Some people still haven't learned how to figure out the I know, time. I, and in and some, some people came on at 7 Eastern Time. Hey, Patrick. Yeah. Uh, this is a more. Uh, I, I, I'm glad you're talking about this. Cause I know where you're going with it. I'll send you the form. I, I will send you the funds transfer and return manual on this. Okay, I have the whole manual on. Okay. Okay, send it to Tom. Okay. So you, you're okay. going right back into the bureau of land have, management. Like I, don't I, have, I don't have internet unless you want to send it to me by mail. Okay. Ah uh, no, I I'll, I'll send it to Tom. Okay. Okay. Hey, call you, me. You, we'll, you, talk, we'll talk later. Okay. Yeah, you can. So you're on the right you track. Can. Yeah, do it to me either in email or uh, just post it on the Skype group. Okay, Tom. All right. Okay. But, yeah, this is where everything is going. And you go ahead and tell them about all the other stuff that you've been using of mine that's working. Great. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. That's not working. I, in yeah, fact, I did, uh, our house, got, our house got paid off yesterday. Yeah. Tell them you've been using my stuff and you've been making it work, at least. Yeah. That'll give people confidence that they see uh, this shithead knows a little something what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> oh, yes, you're correct. Even though I haven't gotten shit out of it, basically somebody else is getting good out of it. <laughs> no, you're something, you're something on point. I can't deny it. Yeah, it's I, do all, all, I do all the damn work, and basically everybody else gets all the glory. I will fix that. I can't get any glory. <laughs> right <laughs> up. Go ahead, Amit. Go ahead and tell them about it. I'll, I'll sit in the background here a little bit. Uh, are you talking to me? Yeah. yeah. More? Yeah. Oh no, his stuff works. Everything that he said is a hundred percent correct. And I and I kid you not. Now can you tell us can you tell us specifically what you've sent in and what you've got? Well, I I basically uh take wait, 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 excuse me for a minute. Everybody's back there. I'm on the phone. Uh I've basically taken care of mortgages, uh car payments. Everything is like you say. In fact, I've actually, I've had, I've, we've, we've made purchases the same way. Oh wow! Oh wow! I'm, I, I have the, I have, I'm not kidding you, not got, the, got, the, got the title, the thank you letter, everything. I'm making this stuff up. Oh, okay, wow. we need to talk about that. See if you did yeah, anything different. Yeah, we really need to talk about that. Yeah, yeah see, we really and do. What we found out here recently <laughs> is that. Since we are on the reservation, you have to go to the Indian agent for the reservation, and so you send all your bills and everything into the Secretary of State under your Certificate of Live Birth Registration Number, your Indian Reservation Number. Uh, so that's the key right there. you got to get that. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, they, because- that's... Every Secretary of State is the Indian agent for that reservation that you're now on. Uh, okay. Yeah, whether it be a North Carol Indian, South Carol Indian, or any other kind of Indian. Just a public Indian. <laughs> yeah. With the public trust. That's the one thing yeah. they can't violate is the public trust because they do, they'll be trust passing. Yeah. You're you're on the public lands. So you are a American 
public Indian, and you haven't <laughs> taken your butt off to the public land and put it onto your private reserve. There you go. Hmm. Oh, wow. I sent in all those put orders, and oh, wow. <laughs> I tell you what, Tom. E- email yep. me later and, and, and send me your and give me your and give me your phone number. I'll call you first and I'll send you what I'm talking about. I'm not making this up. I would actually send it to you this time, okay? okay. Then you can send it back. What, what, what was your email again? I'll send you a quick email. E- uh, well, you already you, you know my email. It's Great Seal, okay? Okay, okay, Great Seal. So that's good. Got it. It's greatfieldinfo at yahoo.com. Yeah, I, I got it. Okay, I'll send you my phone yeah, number. Just make sure you put your phone number on there so I can call you back, okay? Sure. Got it. It'll be there in a second. Okay, all right. All right. And uh, I'll, I'll deal with you privately on this right here. You can do what you need to do with that, okay? Well, then I can, but I every, can, pull, I can organize it and, and, and get it uploaded for people. Now, yeah, now, I'm talking with a friend of mine right here. She's actually seen this stuff with her own eyes, and she will vouch for me when I'm, I'm, I'm not making this stuff up. It's correct. Oh, I believe that. Patrick is 100% correct on what he's talking about. I'm telling you. Okay. Well, I believe you. I just want to know how to do it. Before they come yeah. <laughs> well, just, we got to relieve some stuff here at my house. We have a carpet yeah. that we need to get rid of and other stuff. Yeah, you, you know, there may be some tiny variations that you're doing, or it may be just the order you did it in, or whatever. So I'll, I'll talk with you about that. Yeah, and basically, if you're in a bind right now, you basically put in uh, the homestead exemption claim into a court case, okay? You do that document, basically, you don't have to do it quite as detailed as what I have up there for the homestead exemption, but take that and put it in against the court case. I took that in uh, to uh, the court, clerk of the court, and had her file it against, uh, what the hell, eight traffic tickets? (laughs) Okay, you you have to list all of them on the document, Uh, if you just put one of them down, it's only going to be for that one that you're going to claim the exemption for. So I had to list all of those traffic tickets on the document and hand it to her. And then uh, basically uh, she time-stamped it in, and I had an extra copy. You always take an extra copy, uh, an original extra copy with you, and have them time-stamp your copy also. So, so you put the court... You put the court cases right on the exemption? Right on the exemption document. Okay, okay. You have to list them on there, okay? So I just hand wrote them on when I got there. That's what she wanted, so that's what I gave her. I didn't argue one bit with her. Hmm. Hell, if she's willing to take it, I'm not going to argue with her. Absolutely. That's the man. What? Breaking up. Oh, yeah, she is. Okay. Is is this Wilma? Wilma Brown? Yeah. Okay. Brown. I did not plead in court. And I was given 10 days contempt to try to find out what the jurisdiction was. He shut me down very quickly. I talked about the Constitution and things. And what I thought I heard Patrick say is um, if I file in 10 days and I've got 10 days before I go back to court, I don't ask him to dismiss uh, through motions before having to go back in front of him. You don't argue with them on any of these uh, charges, okay? And yes. Basically, yes. They can't charge uh, you. And basically, you come in there and you start claiming uh, that you're protected by the Bill of Rights, okay, especially uh, 9 and 10, okay? No, no. what I did, all I did say was I need, uh, uh, 1-8-17 says I have the jurisdiction of the court under which I'm being tried before pleading, and he tried to enter me a plea and not guilty, 
And I told him he couldn't enter a plea because I'm the defendant and he's the judge and he gagged me. You're not the defendant. Why See, are you the number defendant? one problem. Number one problem. That charge is not against you. Oh, yeah. Against your prodigal. It's against the corporation. Okay? Yes. yes. It's against your fictional lease contract. Yes. Okay? That they have, and they're using your same name for the leasing contract. So the charge is against the leasing contract, and see, they tried to get us under adhesion contracts, okay, as a secondary leasing contract to them. Therefore, we become a tenant to them, and see, they're the owner. The government right now is the owner of everything while we're in the public realm while we're on the public reservation. They are the owner. We're supposed to be the landlord sitting yes. off to the side, the protected. So how long will it take me to get paperwork in for the, the follow through of what you're doing now? Not I mean, too long. If you sit down this weekend and you listen to the audio from last Sunday night, look at the yes, document sir, determination, please, and look at the document about the uh, exemption, and you listen to the call earlier during the middle of the week, and then you listen to this call again, and then you call and talk to a couple of the people that are on the group site there if you need some extra hand. But you stay focused on what I talk about, and you do not deviate Okay? You try and start going off and deviating by going to codes of law or anything else, and you're going to get your butt in trouble. He's correct. He's 100% correct. These people that are coming against you are trustees. You're not the trustee. They're holding a trust in their hand. Your birth certificate is a deed of trust. You got what I'm saying? It's a lease. It's a lease. And... Under a leasing agreement, the lease E is the owner of the lease property until we, as the landlord, terminate the lease. You're correct. You are correct. Remember, they're violating the public trust because they're trustees. Yeah, they're trustees, but they're trustees over a lease, not over a trust. There is no trust in this country. It's all about leases. Okay, we've leased our land back to them, our rights and everything else back to them, and they're supposed to be uh, providing us with the protection. We just yeah, right, but they're, but they're, they're still right. making trustees because we trusted them. Yeah, we leased yeah, it out to them, but we trusted yeah, them, and they're violating that trust. Yeah, they're still classified as a trustee, as a so, DC trustee. I got you. So you don't let them trespass. You got to get yeah, back your true. stuff, but your there asset. Is no trust. There is no trust in this country because uh, in this country you definitely don't trust anybody. Right. <laughs> well, I hope they take that off that dollar bill then, because you know we trust in it, and it's yeah. God and God we trust on it. You're really loud. <laughs> yeah, back off of that mic a little bit, more. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm always and, uh, the other thing is, is that, see, they're the owner. And while they're the owner, they're the ones that are getting the main benefit from this uh, usage of our land. It's just like you're a farmer, and basically uh, you lease your farm out to somebody else. Now, he's the one that has the responsibility to make all the payments for that uh land that year, okay, because you leased it to him. Now, they try and turn around and put riders onto it, like a driver's license, like a certificate of title to a vehicle, like all these other adhesion contracts that they're going out there, 
and they're trying to make us the tenant, okay, the lease E back to them, and they're trying to say that they're the lease or, and they're leasing it to us. No, that's not the way it works. We're the landlord, and you cannot, and this is a maxim of law, you cannot be both the landlord and a tenant at the same time. Right. No matter how far down the line the tenant scenario is, you cannot. It's an impossibility. It's ridiculous. Okay? If you're the landlord, why in the hell would you ever want to be a tenant for your own property? Right. And see, that's what you need to address in court. I can't. I'm the landlord. I can't be the tenant. You're the owner of this. You're the one that basically, is, as the state, is responsible for settling this item. I'm on the reservation. I'm a American public Indian. I'm protected. You go and take care of the bill. That'll blow them completely away. Right. And tell them if they don't comply, you'll get the men in black after them. Under the special agent or the secretary of state. Can't wait. Yeah. Okay, sir, I will be studying nonstop okay. all weekend. And my mm-hmm. number nine one two three nine nine five six three six if anybody or Skype me. I'm available on Skype. Uh, to the gentleman, I, I'm sorry, I don't know uh, what his name was. Um, he was a loud gentleman. <laughs> um, I, I just, pardon? Um, Amor, A-M-U-R. Uh, Amor? Yeah. Amor. Um, I just uh, sent Amor. Uh, I'm sorry, um, I, I had muted. I'm, I'm here. Oh, it's okay. I just wanted you, I, sir, I just wanted to let you know, I just, uh, I sent you an email is all. Just to have someone to contact with that, you know, that's doing going in the same direction as me, because I'm I'm all I know besides this group. So. Well, I, all I can tell you is everything that this man is telling you, he is a hundred percent. Oh, I know it. Listen, I was studying this before I even came across him. I, I can't I can't believe how accurate my studying has been. I can't I just cannot believe how accurate. The information well, well, I, I, able to I, have, I have I have proof. That's odd, considering pretty much everything mm-hmm. else that's out there is yeah. contradicting a lot of what Patrick's been saying. And sure. No, that's a lie. You know, no, 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 that's a lie. That's a, I'm looking. I'm telling you right now. I, I mean, I I, I, bet, I put my soul on it. I bet my soul right now. What's I bet my soul. That's a lie. What's somebody, a lie? somebody, you you don't know what you're doing. Or you don't got it yet. But look at him. I put my soul on this right here. Everything he's telling you is true. I'm not. I, you didn't hear what I said, so I don't like that word lie. But um, <clears throat> I said what everything that's out there. I know. No, I said. I said somebody's lying to you. I didn't say you lying. I said somebody lying to you. That, that's what I'm saying. Their their information is in, is incorrect in comparison to what we're getting from Patrick is the the true knowledge. Right. They're right. Leading, everything else that's out there, those patriot groups, they're leading us astray. They're leading us down. Uh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 what part? What, the problem, now, is, what part? The problem is the problem is whether they really know what they're talking about, or whether they have been fed. And basically, a lot of this is the same rhetoric that some of these guys were trying to do. 40 years ago, okay, and they haven't gotten off uh, onto the right track, okay? They're trying to force and trying to go down a railroad line that basically is uh, uh, going off the cliff. And basically that's why so many people have gone to jail is because (laughs) they've been misled and they argue something and they get into the codes of law and that's not where you want to be. You want to be in the private. You have to stay away from the codes of law because none of the codes of law have ever been enacted. Okay? They're all by act of Congress or 
by the Senate. Right. Okay. And they don't have a proper enacting clause in them. And, I mean, you can go down to your uh, ag department uh, for your county, okay, and go in and look at the volumes, and I mean volumes, of rules and regulations, CFRs, C, uh, 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 USC, United States Codes, volumes <laughs> of these on the egg uh, industry. No senator, no House of Representatives could have ever read any of that. They would still be reading today, uh, and they would have uh, missed their damn uh, re-election. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how ludicrous this is. It's out of control. It's all, what did I use uh, one word in one of the items that I had up there? Monomania? Yes. Yeah. Oh, monopoly. Yeah. No, monomania. Single mindedness. No, monomania. Mon- and- monomania? Yeah. And basically, and I hate- means something that basically is totally. Uh, ludicrous, out of control, insane. And see, they're and the I, ones that are insane. They need to go yeah. and see a shrink, not us. Yeah. They're psychopaths. Let me share with y'all. I documented everything in that private prison. I haven't been to jail in 25, 30 years. And it is newworldimports.com from China and then some from India. New World Imports that are funding or are giving the packets to the inmates. The food is nothing but saccharin. It is no sugar. I mean, it is just barely, people lose weight in there. It's just barely enough to survive. And you talk about the inhumanity to man. I can't, I am shocked. But this is their plan. And it's traffic court. Most people are sitting in there for traffic court because they end up getting a, uh, there was 287 people on a docket of only 16,000 people in the goddamn city. And they go twice a week. <laughs> and then they're doing time for traffic court violations and then violations of probation because they can't pay these huge fines. And I remember when I was a child, if you had a tag, missing a tag, you went and showed them you got it, and they threw it away. You show your license, they threw it away. You showed the vehicle inspection station that you fixed your light, they threw it away. And now they they penalize you when you fix it or produce your license or produce insurance or whatever it is. It is insane. And most of those people are sitting in there for misdemeanors, uh, and the court is one to two years behind. So if they actually try to plead not guilty on something, they're sitting. But see, as long as you're on the Indian, the public Indian reservation, Uh they have you, okay, until you get off onto the private and you do your preemption. Okay, and then yeah. there is a law that's on the books from March 3rd, 1843. Okay. And it reads like this, an act to authorize the investigation of alleged frauds under the preemption laws and for other purposes. And that is from March 3rd, 1843. And basically, this one covered the frauds in Columbus Land District, but it's applicable to every place out there in the present day. See, some of these laws out here, people have been going in and looking at the wrong laws. And preemption is a big item because that's where you take the public land and you take it into the private, and that's your homestead or your uh, your private homestead, private enterprise, or private reserve, reservation, your individual reservation. And see, that's addressed in Article or the Amendment Number 10 in the Bill of Rights. Your reserved rights. 
<laughs> Does it see until you get your butt out of the public realm and put it over into the private realm, they still got your ass to nibble on. Oh, hell no. I'm I'm in a quick hurry this weekend. This is all I got to do. I just got out of jail. And I was teaching and I taught yeah, other you're people. Still not in the, you're still not in the private. You're still in the public. And they yes. can come and nibble at your ass tomorrow morning if they wanted to. Well, it's a big ass. I'll have to take a big bite. <laughs> you better bring some help, huh? <laughs> That's what I tell them. <laughs> uh, Sorry, guys. I do have a sense of humor. But I, I will be on this all the Labor Day weekend. I'm home. I'll, I will be on this. Hey, join the Skype group, too, where we discuss this. Do you have the welcome email from the Yahoo? It tells you how to get on the Skype group. Oh, how can I get on the Skype group? Look at the welcome email, and it tells you how to get on the Skype group. Everything this man sees. If, if you don't, if you can't find the welcome email, go to the Yahoo group oh. site in the main file directory, and it's, 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 it's that text is in that file directory. Welcome to the Or just post a message, or just post a message on the group site, and somebody will respond to you and tell you how to do it. Okay. Okay. Great. I'll, I'll okay. do that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now, when is our next call? Huh? When is the next call? Well, I don't know. Haven't <laughs> I said enough? I think no. I gave you all the answers. Yes. Yeah, you do. You, I, and, thought and week, I thought last week was it, but I think this this thing right now, by going to this Office of Special uh, Trustee for American Public Indians <laughs> is it. And then knowing that your Secretary of State is really uh, the State Reservation Indian agent, and he's got to take care of all your affairs, your bills and everything, <laughs> your charges, you send them to him. Okay. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Your mortgage. Yeah, you I'm going to give you all a report. I'll give you a report. You send it to the Secretary of State, to the Indian agent. See, you're an Indian. Hey, he's correct. Uh, so yeah. all that stuff ties back into SF, to the phone SF 1153-106. And all that stuff deals with the Bureau of Land Management. And everybody is called, uh, this, uh, is called a civilian employee for the Bureau of Land Management. We can hear wow. you better if you talk calmer. Well, I'm not You're a calm person. Out. That's better. Right. Well, uh, well, all of this stuff ties into the SF uh, uh, 1153-106. Okay. Well, basically, it's a standard form 1153, okay? Uh-huh. And that form is all is called, is, is, it ties into the Bureau of Land Management, okay? It, but uh, the office, the OST, has special forms there, and one of them is the OST 004 form. And see, they will even give you a debit card. What? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need one of those right now. <laughs> I know, right, Tor? <laughs> you go. And basically, I gave you the fax number. I gave you the address. See, uh, this is what we've been looking for. And we've been looking for the men in black. And this was the address and phone number that you gave us earlier on in oh, the call. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> That you can go into, you go into the Department of the Interior, and you can pull up this address and phone number and the fax number and everything right off their website, hmm. and the forms also. Uh, 
Okay. Armand, Armand, is it is there any way possible that you can send me any success that you had? Listen, I I I believe everything, but I want to give it to a friend of mine because I'm telling you, I'm going to teach this. Well, well, why don't you I tell him to okay. listen to this call tonight. Don't okay? worry about your friend. I'll, I'll yeah, work with him more. You take care of yourself first, and then you can prove it to your friend. I will. I will. Okay. I just wanted to you have. Can. I just wanted to have the one to me. <laughs> yeah, you don't need anybody else to tell them. <laughs> yeah, I'll work with him more for what he has, and then I'll distribute it to other people as yeah, you want. I don't see him in there. Where? Um, oh, I guess he's not a contact of mine. I'm more. Uh, I no, I don't think I, he's I, joined I, the Skype group. Huh? I keep a little profile. I mostly deal with uh, Brother Bill. I deal with Tom, um, uh, Patrick, and I deal with uh, Tom right here, okay? Okay. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay. There, there's a couple other folks around there I deal with. They there. I'm pretty okay. sure they there. So I'll, I'll oh, work okay. with them more and, and coordinate the info. Uh, he, deal, he deals primarily with those boys down there in South Carolina, Bill, Lawrence, Charlie, and uh, Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> The Wild Bunch down there in South Carolina. Hmm. All right. Well, look, wait, wait, wait a minute. Des Moines, Iowa, what's, what's happening? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need a debit card. Uh, Me so. too. <laughs> yeah. Or like baby, right and see, you can go also, and when you read what it says about the what – that uh, special office of trustee has to say there, you can find out what your account balance is also. I know he said that. Wow. That was real. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Any outstanding you, bills, you any like income taxes, weekend. all income taxes, you can send them to here. Now, this office and the Department of Interior is under – the secretary of uh, the interior. A secretary is a secret area, a secret depository. So you have the secretary of your state, who is the secret area for the Indian Reservation, the state Indian Reservation. Then you also have the Secretary of the Treasury that is over the doc, uh, over the securities at the national level, at the internal le- national level, and he is the secret area there. So basically, he can also, when you come in and claim that you are a Indian, an American Indian, public Indian, and here is your reservation number, which is your certificate of live birth number, you send all of those tax bills to him, or you basically order them to make the payment to you, because all taxes have to go back to the source, and you are the source, the landlord. You are 100% correct. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, see, oh, we've, been, we've been Armand is killing thing. me over here. <laughs> and see, not, hey. We've been trying not to accept the payment that they're trying to give us. Everything <laughs> is in on the other side of the looking glass, Dorothy or Alice. Okay, you've got to bring it to the right side and then see what's really going on. Thanks. And you're talking about uh, property taxes, right, Patrick? Not you send the property taxes into the Secretary of State. Okay. You don't owe anything. They're the ones that are the landlord or the owners of that property because you leased it to them. Right. But they owe the bill. Taxes. Nobody really owes income taxes. Nobody. If that's all. A no, we don't. Indians don't owe taxes. Well, read the Indians law. Don't even owe taxes. <laughs> Indians do not owe taxes, and you are a public any Indian. 
You just got to claim that you're a public Indian and you owe no taxes because you have leased all your property to the public reservation. Now, they're the public owner of that. They owe the taxes back to the landlord, who is you, because you were registered into the county records before they came in and became the lease E. Right. Okay? So all taxes have to come back to the landlord. They're trying to make a payment to you. Yeah. You just didn't know that you were supposed to claim it. And you're in there in court arguing, I ain't going to pay that. I ain't going to pay that. No, you're supposed to claim it. Wow. Uh, what, he, what what Patrick's basically saying is like when I go to the grocery store and buy, make purchases or wherever I go, and they try to charge me sales tax, they can't charge me sales tax because I'm not selling. I've, I'm, I'm a purchaser. Now, I've never heard of a purchase tax. <laughs> They're the salesmen, so they have to pay the tax. Right. They're trying to and pass they, that burden on you. And I have the receipt to prove to you that I don't pay sales tax. Yeah, but the whole thing is... Minutes, put that in there too. Okay. The thing is about the receipts, when you walk out of the store, that receipt is a receipt for transportation. Okay? You're able to take that goods out of the store. Now, you paid out of your back pocket, but you have to take that receipt and send it into the Secretary of State or to the Indian agent and get your payment back. That's called a tax return, and you are right. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, basically, you have to claim that back. So basically, everything is essentially prepaid while you're on the reservation. Now, when you do that, does that require a 1099? I'm not exactly no. Yeah. No. 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 Oh, I see. Okay. You don't fill it out. You do uh, not do right. forms. Ah, good. Okay. You just send these in and basically call up your Secretary of State, and you'll probably get the answer machine, well, sometimes. Uh, and I got the answer machine one time, and basically I haven't gotten it since that. Uh, but when I listened to it and stayed on the line for about 20 minutes, but the first thing that they said, okay, if you have a charge or something, you put your account number down and you can fax it right in to the Secretary of State's office. So you do an invoice of all those receipts. You put your account number, which is your certificate of live birth number in there, and you claim that back. It'll take probably about 30 days before you get your return. You well, can do well, more than one receipt. Well, 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 Patrick, I usually do those at – I'm sorry. I usually do those at the end of the year. I do them all, I do all 12 at the end of the year. I mean, yeah, I'm not – You can do them at the However you want to do them. Well, well, I, I, usually, I, I usually use the 1099 forms. I, I've never – now, you tell me something I don't know now. Yeah, but see, uh, this this would be going directly to the Secretary of State's office. And see, when you start acting like an Indian on the reservation, you don't do any forms, okay? They're the ones that have to do them. You're the landlord. The landlord don't do forms ah, because that's you why have do forms. Mm-hmm. You have forms, but you make a you make up your own invoice. And then you put your account number on there and say, hey, you owe me this. Here's the receipts. If you want the receipts, I have them sitting here. I will send the original receipts in, too. Hmm. You don't have to wait until the end of the year to do that, though. You can do it whenever you want. Yes, well, you can do it on a weekly basis. And you can put um, just the... Uh, the receipt number and the amount on one invoice. I mean, we have several. <laughs> yes. He shows the you can list them all. Yeah. I put examples of these up there before on the group site. Okay, that's what that was. Okay, I saw it, Pat. I saw okay. it. 
And on Patrick's example, he has the store number and the cash register number as well as the receipt number. Yeah, but see, I didn't have quite everything right on there about this being an Indian uh, reservation and that I was coming in as an American Indian uh, or an Iowa Indian, and basically I wanted my uh, payment. Yep. It's, it's like you're going to the company store and you're getting your payment back. They owe right. because all the public utilities and everything else have been out there utilizing your shares of the country as collateral. So they really owe us the rent, and this is a rent payment. The three elements that need to be on the invoice are what? I'm sorry, you said something to me, Tom, but I couldn't hear you. Well, well he had store number. Uh, because he, his example was Dollar General, and each store has a number. He, oh. And uh, each register in the store has a number, and uh, then each invoice has a each receipt has a number. Oh, okay. There's a TXT on the files. Just look at it, TXT. It'll show what it is. Oh, okay, great. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. The ledger. Look at it. Okay. Any questions about what the hell is going on here? (laughs) I asked all my questions, so... Did Chris or uh, Jeff show up yet? No, I don't see. Let me check. Not everything is visible all the time. No, they're not here. There's 17 people now. I got booted. Oh, you came back? Mm hmm. Okay. But no, go into the Department of the Interior. And then go into the website, okay? And they even have an org chart there. And basically, the uh, last one down under the main header uh, on the right-hand side is the Office of Special Trustee for American Indians. And basically, they cover all other Indians. They have... The initial uh, department there to cover uh, the rest, the native Indians, okay? The original Aborigine, whatever you want to call, Indians. Mm -mm -mm. And see, we are an American Indian because basically everything was set up under reservations. The public land is a public reservation. Reserve, and then even in the uh, Bill of Rights, it talks about reserves. Your rights are reserved. Well, basically, if something is reserved, that is now on a reservation. It's just like you call up uh, 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 Giovanni's and you want to uh, have a reservation a week from today to take out and basically have a big meal set up so you make a reservation. And you have to come and claim that reservation to be able to sit there. If you don't claim the reservation, they will give the reservation away. But in our case, they're not going to do that. Go ahead. Was there somebody trying to say something? Yeah, I think there was, but... uh... I was just saying ass and then sets. You know, I was thinking, you know, your ass and then, you know, wherever you sit and then the reservation at the table. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't want to offend anybody, but that's basically what he's saying. 
That's the way I'm getting it. It's almost like saying broadcast. You're broad, and you like to cast your spell on men like myself and, and put us under that spell. You know what I'm saying? When you're wearing a lot, nice little tight dress. That's an asset. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my and, goodness. And see, in a lot of cases, uh, these other guys, these public corporations, have been sitting in our seats. And basically, so it's just like some of the parables that Jesus talked about, uh, the wedding uh, meal or whatever it was, that basically the guy came in and he sat at the end of the table. Well, basically, the head guy came down and uh, took him and moved him up to the head of the table and took the other guy that was sitting in his chair and moved him out the door. And see, that's what's going on is because some of these public corporations are sitting in our seat because we haven't come in and claimed it. You're right. And I guess to be recognized as an elect an elector. Yeah, yeah we are right. we are an elector. We elect yeah. the people in the government. So That's we are the superior uh, government official in the yeah. in the government of this country. He is. He's like. Okay. Boy, boy, Patrick, damn you, good boy. <laughs> also in court, you tell that judge, and see, basically, that court is not a valid court. It's a bar court. It's an estoppel court. It's a corporate court. You want, and basically, in one of the word documents I put up there, by the law uh, phrase, you want an open court. Mm -hmm. An open court has to hear the truth. A bar court will not hear the truth, and you are stopped from trying to tell any truth in that court. They're not going to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. You remember, because that... A stopple is really acting as a custopple. They, 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 they're acting like, like, like those jokers in, in uh, Germany. The custopples. Yeah, like a racketeering, like the mob. Yeah. Okay? All I can tell you is he gave me five days contempt, then 10 days, then 15, then 20, because I didn't stop talking. And on my way out, I said, this court is a fraud. All of y'all should Google this and find out. And I and then he called the jail and reduced my time from twenty days to ten days. Okay, but well, here's the still deal. Got... Here's the deal. Listen to me. Yes, sir. You say you can't charge me with contempt because I will purge myself of that contempt. And the subject. Yeah, that's right what I was there. thinking. I was thinking, can I do that by making a motion to the clerk of the court before I even you go don't back make to make a motion? You just wait a minute. You state it out in front of that judge. Yeah, I'm going to Patrick. Listen, Patrick. Listen, listen, listen to me, okay? You mm-hmm. can't hear me if you're talking. Yes, sir. Okay. You just say uh, you can't charge me with contempt because I will purge myself of that contempt. You're the landlord. Yeah, you're the I'm gonna living have person, and the living gonna... person can purge himself of any false claims. They're not going to do it. You can do it, though. Oh, I so, tell you something. He he didn't like it. Well, you didn't tell him this. No, but what little bit I what little bit I did know, he was gagging me before I could even get a word or two out. That's right, because, because you weren't because saying you know, the you right know, thing. You know, yeah. You, you weren't were saying the right ended. thing. See, you were arguing with him. And arguing is a contempt. Yeah. So he was well, right. I just know I wouldn't enter a plea. The problem was I would not enter a plea because I wanted to That's ask because- for that you were in there trying to claim ownership, okay? That was your number one mistake. I was actually trying to work on that jurisdiction angle, that it's 
He doesn't uh, have your no, 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 hey, hey, You didn't, that, you didn't hear what Patrick said. Patrick says you need to purge yourself. Go look at the movie Purge. Purge 1 and Purge 2. Right. You don't okay. understand what the word purge means. No, I got the download of the law dictionary. I'm studying. I got it. Okay. But you need to stop arguing the, all of this other stuff that you're saying there is right out of the uh, the rock class and the Patriot Handbook and everybody else that's been going to court and arguing with these guys. You need God. to go in there and understand that you are not the one that's being charged. You're the landlord, and basically you're not the tenant. Right. Okay? And you, that's yeah. all you need to say. Is I, And basically that's a maximum of law. If I'm the landlord, I can't be the tenant. So basically <laughs> you're the one that has to set this charge off. You're the owner. Yes, sir. You're the trustee that has to make the settlement. Well, I, I, I did well, know said, that. Hey, you hey, well, you I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I say that, and you open your damn mouth up too damn much. You say something he, simple, okay, and then shut the hell up. Okay. Okay, and then you take your seat. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and basically, but you need to also understand about this exemption. Yeah. You do a homestead exemption for that court case. Okay. Okay. Downloading that. Have that any is. other questions? Oh wow, homestead exemption. Justin, you you are the executioner. You are the perjurer. You know what I'm saying? No, no, don't, don't commit perjury, but you are the executioner. You only you can execute the move. Okay. Armand, I'm going I to know I can. I know I can. Y'all have done a lot in the 10 days I've been gone, so I downloaded everything today okay. that I've missed, and I'll be studying. Okay. This, be man the is ahead. Okay. this man is 20 years ahead of his time, I'm telling you. Yes. Y'all well, you ain't had to tell me, son. Listen here. Okay, I, I'm yeah. going off the line for a little bit. Go I'm ahead. sorry, I'm back. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Look, he, 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 he's correct, okay? We know it. You said it 50 times today. <laughs> but it seems as if, it's almost as if you guys are not getting any remedy. And it, 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 it just hurts my heart. It gets me real excited. We're you know on, what I'm not even on first base, man. We're up on the bat. We're learning how to swing. We haven't even got a pitch yet, man. <laughs> Tom, call me yeah. later on, Tom. I Pardon? need you, Tom. Here I am. Tom, I need you. Here I am. Well, no, I don't need you. They need you. My fault. They need you. Okay, okay. So, Tom, are you? So, Tom, Armand, are you guys going to post any, any, any successes, anything like that? I mean, I know I just sort of was told. Well, I'm not going to say yourself. nothing on this open line, but I will deal with Tom directly, okay? Because Tom deals directly with Patrick. But Patrick is 100% correct. I don't, I'm don't. i not trying to upstage him or anything like that, but he's 100% correct. This man is hurting. This man has been pouring out his gut for a long time to people, and people just don't get it. Yeah, we do. No, I do get it. I'm just yeah, asking man, for success. We take a swing. Well, I just like uh, I would just like to see it, but nobody wants to show it. So I'll ju- I mean I'll just go off on I'll, I'll just go out and do it. Right, Whatever. Our documents are come are, on, are getting posted. You can learn a lot by looking at the files. Right, yeah, everybody is. Oh, waiting. I've got all the files. I have just about all of them. Everybody's Hell waiting for success. We and we're going to get success by doing it. Everybody's waiting for someone else to do it. No, we we're getting the grip on the bat, man. There's people who have well, problems. Well, I, well, I got a well, monitor I, 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 that I was out, well, well, your other lady was in jail for 10 days. I was without a computer for four or five days. And right. then you got to pick up and study and read the definitions and everything yeah. else. That's called getting a grip on the bat. And yep. as soon as we feel like taking a swing, we'll take a swing. We'll do our paperwork feel and like put it in. like taking a swing. you got to do the paperwork. you got to yeah, do you gotta, it. you got to know what you're doing. 
you got to know what you're go. doing so you don't make mistakes. You're not going to know how to do any of this stuff if you're not actually doing it. No, uh, right. we, we do it when we understand doing. the words and we understand what we're doing. It changes well, everything. That sounds there's like no you're hurry. That. Yeah, there's a hurry. It's good there to hurry to hurry. understand it, but every week it changes anyhow, so what's the difference? <laughs> well, I can understand that's how you're working, yes. Yeah. But, uh, wow. Your spirit Patrick tell is you right. right. We're, we're, we're running Patrick. out of time. There may be some unusual events happening next week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the well, greatest call, like, ever. Like, ever. Like, ever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Valley Girl. <laughs> Well, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get this show on the road. Yeah, it's the, pe- the, work, the paperwork's out there, and it's very easy to fill in. You don't have to do that much. The important right. part is, is once you fill it in, read the definitions. And you know what? You I didn't even have. I have to go buy another ream of paper. I don't even have any paper to print the shit out on yet. So I'll do it when I get the paper. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm doing it without printing it out so far. You want to hear another yeah, excuse? Everybody's in, like, real form today. Yeah, we're <laughs> all, we all got excuses. Right. <laughs> what it sounds like. I mean, I thought I thought that having a seal would be good, so I'm, I was just sort of, you money. know, studying got, until I, I was able to get my seal. Paper. What, what did you say now? You said a what? A seal? Yeah. And you're correct. Yeah, so I, I was waiting all my I was waiting all my seals to come. So uh, well, uh, put Patrick, your thumbprint Patrick, on it. Patrick says uh, uh, always go with what you got. Use you don't have a seal. Print. Use a beer That's pack. what someone said, sir. Yeah. Whatever you gotta do. You don't have to That's wait what on I nothing. was using. I was using a three cent stamp, my fingerprint, and signing across it and dating the stamp. So right. basically executed that document with There's that stamp. There's a smart lady. What, what did, did you get any results? No. <sighs> no, I sent oh, them all boy. off. They sent my driver's license back to me. Yeah, well, the you driver got. license. Yeah, they don't want your license. <laughs> That's worth $25 million to them. They want you to keep it. So while you have it, it's worth $25 million to it. Hey, if you want to save money on your mailing, look on YouTube for posts per queue. It's oh, a, I have that. Yeah, that's a great one. P E yeah, yeah. uh, P E R C U E. Yeah, you you become the postmaster. You do. You, I, I I was listening to this guy with the uh, private is me, and he does all this post per queue stuff. He does um, international uh, certified to all the agencies <clears throat> to upgrade his status. And well, it doesn't that's, spend that's any a, money that's on a whole, That's a whole uh, other right. issue. Well, well look at I'm, I'm going to let you in on something else, even better than that. Look in your, look in your Black Law Dictionary, fourth edition. Look up the word Frank. F A R N K. Yeah. yeah. Write that in the upper right hand corner or get yourself a red stamp with a circle on it. Stamp it on there, okay? F A R N K. Frank, right, like, like Frank, Frank. Somebody's got some feedback. I can't hear what he's saying. You've got to slow down and uh, quiet down on your talking, your muffling guy. All right, hold on. Let me take this out of here, okay? What kind of microphone are you using, man? That, i got to get me one of those. you got loudspeaker, man. I'll, I'll, I had you guys, I had you guys on, on a feedback speaker. I'm sorry. That's what you're getting feedback for. Well, well uh, your, volume, your volume is up quite high, Amor. You're always peeking out, and it's distorting. So you either back away from the microphone or the same volume down on Yeah, or just system. lower your voice volume. Just lower your... That, that will do it, too. Oh, God. Stephen. I can't understand that accent, either. Hey, Stephen is correct. I'm not a tall or big person, but I got a big mouth. Trust me. Okay. Me, too. Now, if, That's if all you right. Look up, we like that. Tell me about it. If, if you look up the, work, the phone real well. If, Some people if, try if, that, I got, I, but it I, didn't I, work. It's okay, Omar. Yeah. Okay, if if you look up the word Frank, F A R N K, in a Black Claw dictionary, it might be in all the rest of them, but I know it's in the fourth edition. That'll tell you how to mail your mail off, okay? Huh. But actually, what Patrick is doing with the facts gets around a lot of that. It's, it's uh, like certified, but it's instant certified. 
we know that they have it, and we have a confirmation back. Yeah, it's electronic. Uh, yeah. Well, that, that's correct, but, 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 but that's for poor people like myself. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, you poor people. Well, have mortgages paid off and purchases and stuff like that. You can you can do faxes for all the faxes you want for eight dollars a month by email. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm gonna send I... my poor birth certificate to do my jail time. Hmm. You, you don't need to do jail time, okay? <laughs> that, that's voluntary. That, that's for the other guy. That is for the corporation. All charges are against your leasing contract. You just have to put the charge, the in, charge in to, to the Secretary yeah, of State, 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 who is the Indian State, agent, oh, to, oh, set it off. to set it off. Okay, somebody's okay. on speakerphone. Yeah, somebody has to turn off speaker because you're echoing, Pat. I think that was, I, that was a more. When you want to come back in, a more do star six. Yeah, Moore's got one hell of a power mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to you just, you just turn down the volume. My eardrum is broken. He's used to yelling down the street or something. <laughs> <laughs> but no, all charges, everything out here, you just send them to the Secretary of State, to the Indian agent. Oh, my God. Think that you're on a... The Navajo Reservation. Uh, and basically, you send the charges in there. The federal agents can't come aboard that Indian Reservation. You're protected. Pat? Excuse me, Pat? Yeah. Um, Rashawn here. Uh, I, I, the only reason why I haven't sent out this paperwork is because I was waiting for my seal. So you're 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 like don't even wait for the seal, just use your thumbprint. Yeah. yeah. I mean, is is that is is that all how urgent this is, Pat? In your opinion? Yes. You can use your four finger stuff out as quick as possible. Okay. Right, wrong, indifferent. If you make a small mistake, you can always come back and correct it. Sure. Use your right and left forefinger on the left and right side of your signature. Yeah. Well, use a, use right. a beer bottle pad. Just use a beer bottle pad. Just use your thumbprint. Just use your thumbprint, your right thumbprint. Take a right. Okay. And, and red ink. I have red ink, and I have thumbs. Okay. Yeah, you just put it, you just put it on there. <laughs> you got to listen to some of the calls. I've listened to, oh, my God. I, I probably listened to, like, the last five calls that, that Pat has made. They're all the last five. That should yeah. be it. Yeah. Those are the one, those are the good ones too. Right, and that's what I was getting because I, there was a gal that came on like I don't know like three or four calls back who said I'm a newbie. Where do I start? And Pat said, Uh, now. This would be a good call to start. So I was just like, Oh, okay. So you know, get some uh, red food coloring. If you need to, if you need to take a break, go watch The Lone Ranger. The movie that was just And I watched all the movies done. that you recommended recently, too. Yeah. The Long Ranger. But it's got everything in there. It's got about silver, okay? And that is the people's currency, is silver. It's got the Indians. It's got the Long Ranger, okay? The Marshal, okay? Justice. And then it's got the corporations. Then it's got the railroad. Then it's got the fraudulent... Uh, um, military running amok out there, protecting the corporations. And the banksters. I mean, it's got the whole shoot match. It's got the homesteaders. It's got everything in that one movie. I tried to buy it today, and, but they only had it in yeah, that's, and, and that's one really word, Tonto. Jack Swallow plays a great Tonto. Oh. If you want to use, that's, use that's your that's fingerprint, there. you can use some red food coloring. I'll use my fingerprint. I'll get all this out. Yep. Yeah, I'll get all this out. No problem. You put blood on that address. That Secretary of State has the state of whatever Indian reservation under the Office of 
that he's an agent for the office of a special trustee in the Department of Interior. Okay. See, when you address that into the thing, basically they know that you now know what the hell you're talking about. Well, if this works in Missouri, it should work any place. My research has come up with this is the toughest damn state, and they don't let you get away with nothing. <laughs> yeah, where you are. Shit, all right. That's cool. So That's how there's, laws, it... there's laws on the books for these guys that basically violate uh, the Indian Reservation. That's a federal uh, statute at large. That's big stuff. Yes. And see, that's nobody has been utilizing that action in the court. Yeah, because they did it. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. <coughs> statute at because large. Nobody, nobody wanted to be an Indian. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be an Indian. Everybody wanted to be the damn cowboy. <laughs> yeah. We can Let's be the, the cowboys Indian. and play in, Indians. But I'm not going to be the Indian. I'm going to be the cowboy. The cowboys are the good guys. The Indians are the bad ones. How? <laughs> that, isn't that what you were taught growing up? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was the idea. Get you the thing and you had the good side. <laughs> yeah. The deception. Um, how white, soon will this call go up after we're done? White people killed the Indians. Now we get back at them. All right. It usually takes me about 10 minutes to get the call up. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sending you off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Okay. Was uh, talking uh, to everybody. Tom. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. Tom. Tom, take, yeah. check, check, check your uh, stuff here. I just sent you something, okay? And uh, is it Rashina Kaleem? Rashawn. Rashawn Elam. That's me. <laughs> I'm sending you some too, also, sweetheart. Oh man, Armando, thanks. I really appreciate it, Armand. I just want to. That means, that means we're going steady right now, okay? <laughs> All right, brother. <laughs> okay, everybody, have a good night. Hey, Mark, can you can you lower your voice? The plaster's falling Bye. here. Well, then now. Can you lower your voice a little bit? The plaster's falling here in my room. I'm you, sorry, you, buddy. You, I got to speak when out. You talk too. <laughs> I'll try and get you in the morning, too. Tom, and uh, okay. have you fax me those forms. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've I found two of them. Darlene is going to help me find the third one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. And see, you don't it? need to worry about blood lineage or any of that garbage out here in this process. Okay? okay. If you were born here in this country, basically you're classified as an American Indian by okay. birth. Okay? Oh, okay. We'll see they who's higher on the totem that third pole. Third generation or anything like that. They sort of set that aside. Uh, that basically that was out of the Bible. That basically it was a, after a third generation, then basically you became uh, one of the uh, real people by birth in the nation. But uh, here in this country, they allowed uh, uh, foreigners to come in here. But now as soon as they they came in, they got naturalized, but now any birth that they had here in this country, they automatically uh, became uh, an Indian, a public Indian, until they were claimed, until they claimed their seat at the council, at the Indian council, to be a chief. Mm. Hey, baby, we That's what you need Lewis. to do is claim your seat at the table. And to think, Lewis Union, uh, Lewis Ewing, he's a uh, tribal lawyer. Yes, there's quite a few of these guys out here that are in the Patriot movement that are lawyers, and basically, in a lot of cases, they're putting misinformation out. Yeah. 
either that or they just don't know this and they think that they do, okay? And there's a lot of people that think they know everything and they're dead wrong. You can take a look at your family. They think they know what the hell is going on, but basically they're dead wrong in all of this stuff. Oh, Pat, you, you're right, man. They are your worst enemy. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. They think you're so crazy. <clears throat> well, just don't tell them about it. Get, you know, yeah. say, get yourself out and then let them, let them try to figure out what happened. Well, I'm I'm laughing to the bank and they're crying to the bank. Mm-hmm. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, so you guys can okay. continue on. Thank, uh, thank you. I'll check thank with you, you much, tomorrow Pat. morning and Tom. Oh yeah, Thanks I'll, I'll be there. Surprise. Thanks a lot, Pat. Okay, you guys take care. God okay, bless you. you, Tom. Yeah. What's the na- What's the name of that form? Because I'm going to try to help you find it. It, I've got the uh, three and the four, but I don't have the five. 